Hi, Julia. How are you? I'm good. How are you? It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Um, it's sort of crazy, right? Because I think we almost like bookend this experience because we yes. talked at Stargirl right before the world shut down. And here we are almost near the end of the year talking again. And hopefully near the end of the shutdown, but Lord knows. But yes, it's so good to see you again. It's great to see you. Um, so I... I I told you this when I talked to you back in March. Um, I, I love you as a filmmaker. I think you're, you're just, you're such an important voice in this industry and what you do with different genres is just so phenomenal. I mean, there's no other way to say it. You're just so phenomenal at what you do. Um, Thank you for that. Can you talk a little bit though about going into this genre, one that has been very much male dominated over the years? Yeah, you know, obviously, as you said, like, I love exploring different genres. I love so many different genres of film, even though they haven't always represented the characters that I'm most interested in. I still love all of those movies. And I, in particular, one of my most favorite genres is 70s crime drama. And again, as much as I love those movies, I was like, I want it like, you know, there's that moment in Thief where Tuesday Weld goes one way and the movie goes another or when the doors close on Diane Keaton's face in The Godfather. And I just, I wanted to know more about their experiences and their stories, you know, what happens to them? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? And so we just decided that that would be a really cool way into a genre that we already loved so much that had been so male dominated. Yeah, and I, one of the things that I love so much about this film in particular is the the shift in tone. The movie is almost two different films in, in, in certain ways where they're halfway through it. Uh, you know, the first half is, is very much male dominated, the usual stuff we see. And then it turns into this really strong female empowerment film. Um, can you talk a little bit about how you were able to balance those tones? Well, I think our, our guiding principle that we knew if we just always stuck to, it would hopefully work, was that we were just always relentless about staying in Jean's perspective. And because the movie is slightly meta in, in terms of its relationship to the genre, it, it, needed to, it needed to weave in and out of that other movie, like the other movie where Eddie's the main character and the, and the crimes that he's committing are the main set pieces. And you know, we weave in and out of his story and his movie and then her movie where the set pieces are the aftermath of those crimes. And so it was a very delicate balance and it, it really is. It's like it's like weaving two, two films together but always staying in Jean's perspective of what Eddie's doing and what she's experiencing. And then my last question is picking Rachel for this, for this role because I think You've seen it. You've seen the reviews. People are just praising her. And I mean, she's so different from the character that she has become known for on Mrs. Maisel. What was that like working with her? She's phenomenal. She's, she's an incredible person, an incredible actor. It turns out she's also an amazing producer. Um, and I think it's just really fun, much like I like playing with different genres. I like taking incredible actors and putting them in a part that is so different from what we already know them for, because that's what great actors do, right? And I think sometimes when people play a part as iconic as Midge Maisel, they can kind of get pigeonholed. And Rachel is such an extraordinary actor. Like there's Midge Maisel and then there's Rachel and then there's Jean and they're all just completely different. And sometimes I can't even believe it's the same person. But yeah, her performance is, is, is really spectacular. And I'm really glad that it's getting the recognition that she deserves. Absolutely. Well, it was a pleasure talking to you a uh, lot briefer this time, but Hey, mm -hmm. Um, you know, you have a lot of people to talk to, but I appreciate you as always. And, uh, I'll keep, uh, having your back. Scott, thank you so much. I appreciate you too. No and problem. You take care. Well and safe. Oh, you too. Please tell, uh, Justin, I said hi too. I will. All right. Bye. Bye.